Hi there, Kim Kunkel here, owner and designer over at easydigitals.com, time-saving backgrounds and templates for photographers. Today, I have a three-part series for you. In part one, I'm going to extract a player from the background. In part two, I'm going to go over the layers of the Victory Light set. And in part three, I'm actually going to add the player to the background. But the first thing I want to do is talk to you about extractions. I know a lot of people get confused about them. So I just want to go over that quickly before we dive into the Victory Lights template. So when I do an extraction, I like to make a copy of the layer first. So I'm going to click duplicate layer and then I'm going to turn off the background layer. So now if I turn off the copy, you can see that the background is off. So I'm going to select the quick selection tool and I'm going to zoom in. So I press the Z and I just zoom in here and I'm going to start, go back to the quick selection tool and I'm going to click my right bracket to make my cap locks was on so it wasn't showing, but I'm making my brush bigger. So I'm just selecting You can zoom in as far as you need to, to be able to see what you're doing with these. So if you wanna get really detailed, you can just zoom in further. So if I press my Z, I can zoom in even further and see how I did with this. Come back to quick selection. And if you're doing detailed areas, you can make this brush smaller by pressing the left bracket. And I'm going to press my Alt key when I select an area that I didn't want to, when an area gets picked up that I didn't want to get picked up. Okay, I'm going to make my brush really small. I'm going to get this cleat. I'm gonna press my Alt and get that back. Getting these very small areas of the shoe. I'm gonna get this other leg. Wait, I need to finish this. Alt and bring this back. Just little movements here. Okay, let's go ahead and look it over. Okay, I think I've got it all. Okay, now I'm gonna click Refine Edge. And I'm gonna come to Overlay so that I can have this pink area around. And then you can use the magnifying glass and the hand in here to look at everything. So I'm gonna turn on my smart radius and push this over a little bit. Zoom in to see how the hair is looking. Take this little brush and select some of this. Good, okay. And back off here. I'm not liking that. Let me fix this. Okay. And I'm going to do an edge shift here to make um, make sure there's no line around him. It's going to take just a little bit off of the edge, but I, it'll help with any type of fringe. So I'm going to output to a layer mask and click OK. All right, now we have a mask. I'm going to duplicate this layer, right click, duplicate layer, and I'm going to make uh, this one is going to be the shadow and this one is going to be the player all right now the shadow the player layer is turned off and the shadow layer is on I'm going to do view fit on screen right okay by the way I am using elements 11 for this which has masks some of the earlier versions of elements don't have masks so I am going to take my 
marquee tool and get the square. I'm going to select this and I'm going to fill it with black. So I'm going to put the black on top here, alt backspace, control D. Now let me zoom in on these feet. Z for zoom. And I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to use my right click. I mean, I'm hitting my right bracket to make it bigger and I've got my lit, my mask selected and control Z, my white on top. I'm going to bring some of this back for this mask layer, for this shadow layer. All right. Now we're finished with this and we're ready to open up the victory lights and bring this guy in. So in the next video, uh, we'll be working on the victory lights and I'll see you over there.